All right. So, BJD Addicts written prompt number nine. Scary dolls prompted on FB 12312. And here it is. Once again, I've gone through and screen capped it and censored it all for you. And here is what I screen capped and censored for prompt number nine. The thing with number nine and the reason why I decided to take all the comments on these posts is because with number nine, it says they created a poll, but all the options in the poll were deleted somehow. And I don't know how that happened or why that happened, but it looks like Facebook just randomly deleted these. Along with that, um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, are not in the FB group. I've scoured the whole thing and I haven't been able to find them in there. So it seems like, which is really sad, it seems like both YouTube deleted those prompts and Facebook deleted those prompts. So I'm working with what I can find here. So the only thing I can do here is read the comments because there's no poll options, which kind of sucks. So prompt number nine. So as Enva BJD posted January 23rd, 2012, uh, written prompt number nine, are dolls scary? Have you ever had people tell you that they are creepy? Have you ever been creeped out? So comment say, Red says, I've only been creeped out once, but it was just because the heat made my dolly's eyes look like he was evil. LOL. Also, yes, I have been told my dollies are creepy, but never once have I listened. I love them with all my heart and soul, and they are just a bit of me. They are my family. Orange says, that's actually a really wholesome comment. Orange says, the only dolls I've ever been creeped out by are clowns. <gasps> I'll be right back. Did somebody say clowns? The only dolls I've ever been creeped out by are clowns and most porcelain dolls. I will admit I have seen some face-up eye combos that have made a doll look creepy, but in a good way. Sadly, I have met my share of people who found some dolls to be creepy, mostly by the eyes. It's always the eyes for some reason. I think that's just the uncanny valley. I think, um, and this is something that affects me too personally, is when a doll looks too realistic, I don't like it. It just hits me right directly in the uncanny valley. But meanwhile, I like fucking love clowns, so there's that. Um, so I'm not like judging or anything. It's just like my personal taste is I don't like the really hyper realistic dolls because they just, they just like hit me right in that uncanny valley. Yellow says, my best friend thinks my dolls are creepy. He tells me it a lot. So when he comes over, I line them up in the open and make them stare at him. Wrong stare. Green says, here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and move it down. My aunt loves all kinds of dolls, so it's just really my weird friends that think they're creepy. I don't know why. I think they're works of art, like a sculpture, kind of. They're beautiful or super cute or whatever they are made to be. Blue says, my mom and grandma find them creepy, and my dad get why I want to spend that much on a doll. Disappointed face. Fuchsia says, I put some very light yellow eyes on my doll, and when I stood back from the shelf, it looked like he had those ir irisless zombie eyes. I left them in for a bit, but after a while, it looked like my doll was just staring so angrily around the room at me. I quickly changed them back to the old cute ones that calmed him back down. Equals underscore equals um, semicolon. Purple says, I've had several people, including my own mom, comment on how creepy my resin soul gang is, semicolon, the fact that he's so big and the eyes look realistic. The obitsus don't seem to have the same effect at all. My mom is better with my SDs now that he has hair for some reason, lol. Cyan says, and Cyan double posted, my BF doesn't like the bigger ones too much because they were like 3D anime characters. Now he doesn't mind the tinies too much. The only dolls I personally consider creepy are clowns. Once again with the clowns. Porcelain dolls and ventriloquist puppets. All right. Dark Red says, wait, I'm not really creeped out by any dolls that I can remember. I've always loved all kinds of toys. I've have had several people tell me my dolls a specifically were creepy a few friends actually called her that creepy sad doll but in a good way other people just just have doll phobias so it's understandable i think it's the eyes people tend to not like things that stare back at them brown says my mom finds my msd creepy i find them lovely i just don't like it when people draw scars blood missing eyes sad face Dark Yellow says, I had a nightmare that my dolls were possessed a few days ago. It creeped me out to look at them when I woke up. I am scared of a lot of dolls and mannequins, actually, but BJDs are usually okay. Dark Green says, yes, some people have told me my dolls are scary, XD. Dark Blue says, yeah, my sister thinks my YoSD is terrifying since she has rabbit eyes, but 
hey, she is a white rabbit. Dark Purple says, yes, my boyfriend and his friends say it all the time and they think I'm just as creepy for talking to her, lol. Peach says, have a seen creepy dolls? Yes. Well, I tell that to the owner. Will I tell that to the owner? No. Why? Because I wouldn't want people to tell me that. There are just some opinions you keep to yourself. Beige says, LOL, the all BJDs welcome here Yahoo group is doing a group order for t-shirts. We gotta get 24 b b before we can order though. This is the graphic I designed for it. If you want one, contact me and I will give you the email for the lady who is organizing this for us. The can be ordered in size extra small to triple XL. And there's a picture that says, I love my creepy dolls from Flickr. Well, you think that Yahoo group still around? Let me see. Oh crap, it's still here. Oh dang. Oh dang. Alright, well. When did Yahoo become Pinterest? Oh, because it is Pinterest. Groups.yahoo.com. Yeah, sure. I, uh, end announcement. End of Yahoo groups as of December 15th, 2020. <gasps> oh no. 235 members. I'm shocked it's still here. Apparently it's going to get deleted soon though. How do you even join it? Join group? Probably need an email. Oh, you can't even join it. Bummer. Yeah, you probably have to sign in. Anyway, surprise, the group's still there. I wonder if they still have t-shirts. Oh crap, look what came up. I love my creepy dolls. All right. So, um, this is Ant slapping around. So, obviously, I am not bothered by creepy clown dolls because I made a creepy clown doll. So, there she is. And she's quite spoiled. Um, I made her torso. I made her, both her middle and lower torso are handmade by me. And I also, um, handmade this leg of hers because I bought, um, this was like a botched, uh, miscast leg that I bought off eBay and I remade her this leg myself. Um, and she also has extra, uh, dulcet toe joints. She originally was a Bobby pixie and I did quite a bit of, uh, modding to her. And this was a, um, monster high. Originally she was an 18 inch monster high and I cut off the head and cut off the face and then that's the mask. And then underneath that she's a Bobby pixie that I modded. Well, I also made this unicorn horn for her and I also made this, uh, wig piece for her so she is uh quite spoiled so um obviously no i'm not bothered by clown dolls are dolls scary no have you ever had people tell you that they're creepy only in like youtube comments um have you ever been creeped out yes so my personal answer to that have you ever been creeped out so back in the day and i'm talking way back in the day there was a rumor and i don't have any way to substantiate this so it could have just been a rumor i don't know but there was a rumor that there was a person out there who painted their BJD's face up with their own period blood. And there was, sure enough, a picture of a face up that was quite red and gunky. Oh, that was gross. That, like, makes me want to gag. Like, ew. No. That is where I draw the line. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No, that was creepy and gross. No. And that has been the one and only time that I've ever been like creeped out or like grossed out by a doll. That was it. So in general, I have a pretty high tolerance. Otherwise, I'm kind of creeped out by by like some of the like super hyper realistic face ups out there. Um, but it's not like, oh my God, creeped out. It's just like, oh, uncanny valley. And then like I move along. Again, I agree with the one commenter that was like, um, will I tell that to the owner? No, I'm never gonna, I, I like never comment on anything. So like, I'm never gonna tell anyone that I find their doll creepy or anything like that. Uh, if I do find a doll that I don't like, I take the attitude of like, I just scroll past it right like it doesn't affect me i love doll chateau dolls so uh the like spider one that i forget is that elizabeth i forget the doll chateau spiders like totally fine by me any anything like that any like out there sculpts like that or uh anything like that has never bothered me literally the only thing is like the hyper realistic ones just hit me in the uncanny valley and also porcelain dolls don't bother me at all my mom collects porcelain dolls so it they i grew up with them they've never bothered me and i had um some little clown right now they're in storage but i had a uh, little clown porcelain dolls that i loved as a kid so they obviously had an impact on me growing up so no i love them so there's that so there's my answer to that <laughs>